Okay, welcome to today's anatomy screencast. Um, today we're going to look at the respiratory system structure, and particularly today we're just going to look at the upper respiratory tract. So the upper respiratory tract is basically the uh, systems that we have between um, the in entry points of air, such as the mouth and nose, uh, and before the air reaches the trachea or the windpipe, it has to go through a few structures first, and that's what we're going to look at. So the first one we're going to look at is the nasal cavity. So we breathe in through the nose, and we uh, most often athletes are encouraged to breathe in through their nose uh, as opposed to their mouth. And the reason for this is that we have nasal hair, whose uh, job it is to filter out any uh, foreign particles such as dust and pollen, and prevent those getting into the lungs. And we also have mucus in our nose, which contain antibacterial enzymes to kill any infection. And of course, when you have a cold and you have a runny nose, your body is having to produce loads of mucus to try and kill off um, any bacteria. So it, it is good uh, having a runny nose as such. The other thing that we need to look at is the, uh, the pharynx. Now the pharynx is basically just a junction. Um, we've got two areas or two inlet valves if you like. So air can get in through our mouth and through our nose. Um, and also we've got two exit valves. So we've got the, uh, the windpipe, which is the trachea. We've also got the food pipe the esophagus. So this junction point, this four-way junction if you like, is called the pharynx. And ultimately it just connects the, uh, the, the inlet valves where we can get stuff into the body with uh, the tubes that obviously lead down to the stomach or to the lungs. Um, it's a muscular structure um, and ultimately food and air all pass through it. So it's sort of a, a bit of a mix of everything. But it doesn't really do a lot other than just be uh, a muscular structure to deal with that. Now our larynx, our larynx is quite important. So our larynx is our voice box. So particularly if you're a male, you can feel your Adam's apple on your neck. Um, this is the uh, small organ structure that connects the pharynx to the trachea, and it has three major functions. One function is that uh, it plays a role in voice production, so um, it's, it's the, essentially where your vocal cords are. Another key um, reason that we have the larynx is it provides an open airway. So by being muscular, it allows us to keep an open airway so that we don't at any time when we sleep, um, the structure doesn't just suddenly fall back on itself and shut our airway. It's very, very important. The larynx's job is also to direct food and air down the correct tube. So be aware that the pharynx, which is the system before this, deals with both air and food, which is coming in through the nose potentially, but more so through the mouth. And so the larynx's job is to direct them down the right tube. We've then got the epiglottis. Now this is really important. This is a flap at the back of the throat which closes when we swallow. And what this means is that when we swallow, it prevents any food going down our trachea or our windpipe. And obviously this is hugely, hugely important in preventing any food entering our lungs. Now sometimes when we choke and we say, oh, something's gone down the wrong way, um, it hasn't because this would be quite catastrophic if it did. But what it does mean is the epiglottis perhaps has struggled to shut in time. But it's a fairly reliable system uh, and it's uh, quite rare when someone actually gets a piece of food lodged in their windpipe. Uh, of course if that does, that kicks in your choking mechanism. And we've also got the trachea. Now the trachea is basically the windpipe. It's the pipe that basically connects these top structures uh, all the way down 